remarkable player in Major League Volleyball, but this year there's a new star, a woman that could challenge Corbelli for that MVP trophy, and that's Ruth Lewanson. Well, Chris, if I was voting, Ruth Lewanson would get my vote. She's leading the league, averaging five kills a game, but the biggest thing is that she has 100 kills ahead of the nearest competitor, which is Rita Crockett Royster. She's also leading the teams in digs. She's having an outstanding year. And she was just named to the all-star team. New York, on the other hand, they have been in a slump. They have lost three out of four matches. They've been having their problems. But quite frankly, this is the time of year that New York starts to get their pennant drive together. Usually they start to make a push this time of the season. But the big situation has been they've changed their lineup to go to a better ball control team and a defensive team. Lyra Vance is now playing. And this is really only her fourth game. So once she gets used to the lineup, I think they'll be better. Okay. And one of the big surprises this year in the league, and especially for New York, Ellen Crandall Orner. Last year for Chicago and Dallas, she was an outside hitter. But this year, she's bombing away in the middle. She is really bombing away. Last year, they were primarily an outside hitting team, but they figured if they had a chance to compete, they had to get a better middle attack. So she's leading them offensively in the middle, and she's a tremendous blocker. But the biggest thing she does, Chris, is she's so competitive, she raises the level of the whole team. Okay, we have an interesting match for you. We're going to take a look at the starting lineups. First for the Minnesota Monarchs. The fans jammed in here. They are really ready to go. The Monarchs will start with three outside hitters. One of them will be 5'10", University of Minnesota former star Jill Halstead. And then Ruth Lewanson, 5'8", from Fresno State. The other outside hitting spot, 5'11", from San Jose State, Krista Cook should be on the right side at one middle blocker spot, 5'10", from UC Santa Barbara, Judy Balomo. The other middle blocker, a big star, 6'2", beach star from Pepperdine, Linda Chisholm. And the center of the quarterback, 5'8", from Penn State, Ellen Hensler. And now for the New York Liberty, one outside, Spiker should be on the right side, 5'11", from Utah State, Joellen Brazil. Also playing outside, one of the big cannons in the league, one of the best servers, 5'11", from Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, Sandy Allenbaugh. Also outside, Ellen Crandall Order, as she'll actually be switching back from middle to outside. 5'8", from University of Florida, Lyra Vance, the woman we told you about, big key. And starting in the back row, she'll alternate with a big frontliner, 5'8", from Florida, Wendy Stevenson, and the center and quarterback, 6'0", from Stall Ross State, Mary Jo Pepler. We have a Major League Volleyball match for you. The New York Liberties in town to battle the Minnesota Monarchs. We'll be back with a first serve right after this. I'll bet you can't guess what I do for a living. I don't know what I do for a living. They play Major League Volleyball, the fastest sport on the court. Teams in New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, Minneapolis, Phoenix, and San Jose. Major League Volleyball. Come out and see it sometime. LB Hall on the campus of Augsburg College here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. It's New York and Minnesota. My name is Chris Marlowe. I'm working with Kathy Gregory. It's Major League Volleyball. We're about two-thirds of the way through the season. And tonight's match, very, very important. Minnesota in second place, a record of 10 and 6. New York right behind at 8 and 6. New York will be wearing blue. And Minnesota in white. A great crowd on hand. Last week, 2,700 people packed in here at Melby Hall. They had to turn away 150 to see the LA Starlights. In this match, the people still filing in. Big crowd outside and inside. Glad you could join us. Minnesota puts the ball away, and they get the first side out of the evening. Linda Chisholm gets the kill. Linda Chisholm, one of the big stars for the Minnesota Monarchs. This is Ellen Hensler, the setter. She serves the ball into the net quickly through the rules. It's best three out of five game match. Each game to 15 points. You must win by two. You can only score when you serve, and you cannot touch the net at any time. There is a 12-point tiebreaker, I might mention, if we go five. Ball spiked down. Excuse me, Kathy. one nothing, New York. Mary Jo with the jump serve at 42. She brings out the jump serve. I told you I've been working on that myself, Chris. This is Mary Jo Pepler veteran of the 1964 Olympic team. She's 42 years old, and she's still very, very good. She made the All-Star team. This is she. Back set. And Brazil pumps it off the block. And I figure, since New York is the underdog, Kathy, they would have to get off to a good start. Definitely, they're going to have to serve well and take Minnesota out of their rhythm and get establish their offense right at the start of this match. We're in game one. The spin serve of Pepler working. And Krista oh, Cook. Next one down the line. Krista Cook connects on that ball. What a 
great addition to have her. We're going to see that play right now. The ball is set back up, and she hits that ball. Kathy, you invented that kind of thing, didn't you? <laughs> that tumbler down as the ball is cranked down, and New York gets it back. A There's... big plus to have Christy into their offense. They're starting to set her about 20 times a game, and that will really help Minnesota's attack. This is Ellen Crandall Horner, six-footer from Penn State. Into the middle. And Hallstead, the long thing. Jill Hallstead, an outside hitter for Minnesota last year. She's doing very well this year. Good combination play. It's good when they can swing their hitters and not have to hit against a two-man block every time. The Monarchs trailing by two, but they have the serve. Back set. Brazel is dug by Chisholm. And they set Lawanson. Quickly out to the outside, and Vance pounds it down the line. A very quick shoot set out there, but I believe it was outside the antenna. And our first referee, Bob Trammell from St. Paul, signals the ball over to the Monarchs. Right. This is a lineup change we talked about. Lyra playing in the outside. She took a good swing, but hit that outside. Lyra Brown in, uh, Lyra Vance, excuse me, in for Dietra Brown. And Mary Jo Pepler over the net, a back row attacker. Explain that, Kathy, very quickly. Yeah, she cannot jump, jump above the net to try to set that ball, and she was over the net. Bob Trammell, uh, first referee, signals the ball in play. It's high score at two. New York having trouble with the pass. Back set, it's out of here. It touched the antenna. The ball may never touch the antenna, and the ball goes back to New York. It's difficult right at the beginning of the match to get in a feel on the passing and ball control, so it'll take a little bit of time to stabilize that part of the game. This is Lyra Vance. She played for Mary Jo Pepler at the University of Florida, and the ball jammed down. Laura Smith, who always seems to play well on ESPN, doesn't she, Kathy? Well, she's really an emotional, animated player, and she does whatever she has to do to help the team. We really like that kind of player. Six-footer from Central Florida. A lot of Floridians on the New York team. And Krista Cook bombs it off the block. And now Cook will go out of the match, and in comes Maria Conley. And Conley having a fantastic year in the backcourt. She's second in Major League Volleyball with 23 aces. She has a tremendous serve. She learned that at UCLA. And what a valuable asset to have a good six-footer come in with a tough serve and dig some balls. Ball trying to be scooped up. Conley originally, if you followed our coverage of Major League Volleyball, Conley was a starter, but she's been beaten out by... Krista Cook, at least in the front row, so they're using Conley in the back row now. Spin serve is too long, and the ball will go over to Minnesota. Halstead attempting the spin serve. It's 3-2 to two as Judy Belomo, one of Kathy Gregory's former stars at UC Santa Barbara, puts the ball in play. She made the All-Star game. All-Star game is next week. First ever for Major League Volleyball. Beautiful dig. They go to Chisholm. Chisholm is blocked, and Pepler slap shot out of bounds. Minnesota gets a point. Maria Conley comes right into the game and makes a nice dig, and that's going to really help them because we see, again, they get a good three-man block on that, a nice coverage, though. The ball's tipped over. Mary Jo thought she could just uh, shoot that ball over, but she hit it out. Tie score at three. We're in game one here at Augsburg College. Chris Marlowe, Kathy Gregory, and Sandy Hohenbaugh. Hohenbaugh got off to a slow start this year, but she's forged into the league, leading the New York Liberties yeah. with 228 she kills. She gets a nice, good outside approach and hangs high and hits that ball again off Ellen Hensler. Wendy Stevenson will serve. She's a back row specialist. Used to be a setter. She's the backup setter. Should anything happen to Mary Jo, ball blocked out of bounds, and Ruth Lawanson will go back to serve. Ruth's just getting that arm warmed up. We know she's going to swing probably about 30 times tonight. Ruth last year played for the now defunct Dallas Bell. She's from Fresno, California. Played at Fresno State. Where she was a great All-American, and the ball blocked down. And I think Ellen Hensler got a little piece of that, Kathy. That was a great block by Ellen. They never think the setter is going to be able to block you. So when you have the setter up there with C outside, I think she didn't think that the setter was one-on-one. -on -one. She thought I could hit right through that, although Linda came up and closed the hole. Very nice play by Linda Chisholm. Also helps to have a 6-3 middle <laughs> blocker coming over a little late. She thought she could get it by, so Lawanson will serve. A business accounting major while she was at Fresno State. It's four to three. Good, strong serve. Hensler out to the outside. And Halstead down the line. It looks like Jill Halstead likes to use that little line shot, Kathy. Jill Halstead is a very effective hitter. She has a good jumping ability, and she hangs. And if she sees that they take a particular area, she cuts it back, hits a nice shot down the line. Three straight points for the Monarchs. It's now five to three. Game one action. Cut her out to the outside. On ball. Good dig by Conley. And Halstead right through the middle of the block. So Minnesota off to a very good start. 
and they lead by three. Minnesota, again, is using a very balanced attack. They're setting all their hitters, and it's hard for New York to key on any one player. They have five spikers that have over 150 kills, so they do have a very balanced attack. The kill just being a successful spike, out of bounds, another point. So Mary Jo Pepler is the coach of New York. She does not like to take timeouts, Kathy Gregory. I know a philosophy you don't really agree with. Exactly. I think that sometimes you really need to. And Ruth, we talk about Ruth's offense, but look at her serving these BBs right now. Exactly. Look at another for a bad pass. Ball hits the roof. That's good in Major League Volleyball, but right into the net. And now Mary Jo Pepler forced to call timeout. So a big start for the Minnesota Monarchs. They lead the New York Liberties here on 8-3. Don't forget our next TV game, Sunday, May 1st, 9 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, 12 o'clock on the East Coast. The Volleyball Hall of Fame match, Los Angeles. The Starlight's going up against the New York Liberties. That will be at Holyoke High School, the birthplace of volleyball in Holyoke, Massachusetts. If you're out in that area, come out and see two of the best teams in Major League Volleyball, the Starlights with all those Olympians and the New York Liberties, hometowners. That'll be a great match. Okay. 8-3, to three, and New York scores out of the timeout, at least scores a side out, and Sandy Ahnbaugh will go back to serve. It's amazing Sandy's having such a good year. You know, she's just about ready to take her finals in law school, and she's traveling every week to play with the team, but it doesn't seem to be bothering her game. She has 11 service aces as Halstead hits the ball in the net, and Ahnbaugh was the best server in Major League Volleyball last year. So uh, she missed a couple matches or got off to a slow start. It's now 8-4. to four. She's got a wicked serve. Great serve. When it's in. <laughs> Uh, not so good when it's out. And so now Ellen Hensler will serve. Hensler, we mentioned, from Penn State. Originally from North Huntington, Pennsylvania. Been a big surprise. Uh, rookie setter playing well. And the spike is registered by Orner. Very nice set by Mary Jo. They only had two hitters in that rotation. She swung Ellen Orner to a backslide and very effective when you can side out with only two hitters in that rotation. Mary Jo Pepler putting the ball in play and she serves an ace. She goes from the jump serve to the little do drop and that's a tough one. That one just drops and it's hard to pass that. At the end of the year, DHL, one of the nice sponsors in Major League Volleyball, will be presenting the Uninterrupted Service Award for the best service percentage. So every time you make an ace, you have a chance to win big money. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Currently, the leader is Wendy Stammer of the Arizona Bray. Little tip shot put away by Cook. Again, we see the versatility of Krista. She played. She's coming in quick. A ball is dug. Again, Minnesota getting a lot of easy chances. The ball tipped, just tipped over the block. Doesn't even really take that ball. One of the weaknesses of New York. Not really a great, outstanding defensive team Actually, against the tip. Credit the kill to Linda Chisholm and the assist to the Cook. Oh, what a spike down the line. There, Vance. She likes to turn line. Vance is only 5'8", so she's got to rely on her leaping ability to get up. And this is what they're hoping that she can help them hitting and their ball control and really give them a better chance to compete with L.A. Pass is off the net. Hensler whips to the outside. Maloma is dug. It's a free ball. You should score. And this is an easy play. Ball is dug. Hepler back. And Brazil, but Cook is right there. Into the net. Balomo and a point for New York. So New York utilizing the block of Laura Smith. They really need Laura Smith to block. It's one of her strengths. The ball is set a little inside. Uh, we get a chance to see the transition play. Judy tries to jam that. Set was a little bit tight, and Laura Smith with a nice block. Remember, Belomo is only 5'10", so you can't set her too high. 8-6, game one action here in Minneapolis. Pepler with a dig. Brazil shoots to the outside, and Vance launches one out of bounds, and the ball will go to Minnesota. The coach of Minnesota is Walt Weaver in his first year. That's our first official, Bob Trammell from St. Paul. Local fella, haven't seen him work before, but he's doing a good job so far. I got it. See how he reacts when everybody starts yelling at him, Kathy. Especially and all these Minnesota fans. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Lyra Vance with another kill, so that's Vance's third kill. There's Walt Weaver. You see him right in the background. And this is Vance. Worked away into the starting lineup, a four-year starter for Mary Jo Pepler. All poked up. And Onbaugh kills it off the hand, Sandy Onbaugh. They need her attack. Also, Joellen was a setter, made a nice set outside to Sandy. This is a very strong rotation uh, for New York right now. New York closes to within one. Onbaugh has three kills. Out to the outside. Yeah. But Watson is stuffed. 
woman on woman, Joellen Brazil. And now you can figure out why she made the all-star team, Kathy. She's a great blocker. She really waited on that play. And Ruth looks a little tentative at the start of this game. She wants it off to a slow start. Back set. And Krista Cook and Mary Jo Pepler trying to use the knuckler to save that play, but could not get up quite high enough for that. Nice set by Ellen. She's got to really use the right side, and I think that they're going to start to use it a lot more as we've seen so far in this first game. Conley backing the serve. She serves hard every time. Passes close to the net. Pumped up to Arnbaugh. Arnbaugh again. Blocked again. Lobo and Hensler. Okay, Sandy's going up to hit. Look at the good extension. She really reaches high, but that's a nice block by Judy, and she celebrates that. Only five foot ten, but she gets a lot more blocks than you might think. Four hands together, and the serve into the net. One thing about Conley's serve, it is so powerful, she does have a tendency to make... All done 101. Sixth error against 23 aces, so that's not a bad ratio. Maybe we'd like to have a few more aces. Serves a lot of points. Oh, there goes Ruth. And they're that, chanting Ruth. That's the Ruth that we're used to seeing. A nice swing inside the block. So, she's such a powerful attacker. Minnesota in the lead by one. We're in game one. As the ball is jammed. And kept in play. And somebody touched the net for New York. Nina Laces saying, you caught it with your chest. Laces from Minneapolis. Nice play. It was a tight set by Ruth, but showing her experience, she just tips that ball to the deep court. Lomo serving short. Quickly out to the outside. On ball, spiking line. And I think you have to do that if you're in New York, is try to take advantage of Hensler, the smaller blocker. Definitely. You have to spot a weakness and try to uh, score some points in that rotation. Wendy Stevenson is in, a very good server and back row specialist from Gainesville. Lo Watson. Off the launching pad. What kind of confidence that we see again? The ball go. Ella knows to set that ball to to Ruth. She hits the ball inside the block. She hits such a powerful ball. Even when the defensive player thinks that she has it, it can knock him over. Beautiful camera work too. You got an idea how fast that ball comes. It's coming 100 miles an hour. You can't react that quickly. Quickly out to the outside. On ball, straight down the line, and New York gets the ball. Hensler saying she didn't touch it, but. But the referee not listening. On ball played collegiately at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo under Mike Wilton. The fellow that you recruit against all the time up there, Kathy. The ball is put away, and Krista Cook re-enters for Maria Conley. We're going to take a short break. We're in game one, Minnesota up by two. Minnesota leading New York by two, 10 to eight. New York is in blue. And Minnesota in white. Beautiful dig by Balomo. Kept in by Chisholm. Out to the outside. Vance. And that one drops. So Lyra Vance off strongly with four kills. What's good is that she's in the rotation with Ellen Orner. So Linda Chisholm twice went up with Ellen. And Lyra had a one-man block. So that's a very good situation with two blockers going with uh, Ellen. It really will help Lyra establish her offensive rhythm. Mary Jo Pepler. Collegially, she played so long ago, no one even remembers that she went to Sol Ross Sol State Ross. and won a national championship there. Captain of the 1964 Olympic team. As an ace is served, so Pepler's serve has been very, very effective. She's really mixing it up. Sometimes the jump serve, the floater. She's now the coach at the University of Florida, where she had a 37 and 6 record last year, along with Marilyn McCreevy. They built a nice program down there, and I'm told they're going to be a lot better this year. She ranked in the top 10. And a spike by Linda Chisholm. And Kathy, you played against Linda Chisholm a lot on the beach. She's got a good arm swing, but she's not really a if, leaper, if is we'll she? We'll see again. She doesn't really get up that high. We look on this replay. Let's see, maybe five, 10, maybe 10 inches. But hey, when you're six foot three, you don't need to jump high. That's five inches more than you, Kathy. <laughs> you bet it. <laughs> but she is six three, so that gives her an advantage. Yes. You don't really have to jump. You don't have to jump. <laughs> Did the ball hit the antenna? Brazil is saying, I didn't touch it. And Nina Laces said it hit the antenna. She's saying the blocker hit it. She thought that she hit it into the blocker's hands. Let's well, take a look. Let's see again. Let's, take a, let's see if we can see this right here. It looks like she takes a nice swing. 
No, I think it hit the antenna. I think it hit so the too. Blocker's hands. I agree. Joel and Brazil just popped so it right in. Second look. Let's take another look here. Yes. Yeah, I think it hit the, the antenna. Great camera work once again. Trying to sink that ball line, but the ball cannot hit the antenna. It's like the foul pole, but once it hits that antenna, it's out of bounds. Balomo doing a good job moving along the net. And the block pays dividends. And Minnesota. Minnesota not known for their block, but now Jill and Judy have gotten a couple of blocks. And what a big plus if they can suddenly start to get their blocking going. Linda Chesham recently engaged. What's his name? Uh, Marty Carrillo. Marty Carrillo. Will that affect her career at all, do you think? I hope so. I hope it'll <laughs> slow her down on that beach. I'm counting on it. I need a little help. You certainly do. <laughs> <laughs> no. Linda Chisholm is the world reigning world champion on the beach. This is Ellen Orner, New York, trying to get back in it. There's a good pass by Chisholm. Kepler. And the put away. Laura Smith from Orlando, Florida, and Laura Smith. Nice play by New York. Mary Jo made a nice one-handed little scoop dig. Warner with the serve. New York hanging in, despite a good first game by Minnesota. And the ball over the top. If you just joined us, these teams have played four times this year, or this be, will be the fourth meeting, and Minnesota has won them all, but they've all been very close, very long battles. Yes, and they're one second and third place, so this is a really important game, and they might even meet in the playoffs again. Four teams will go to the playoffs in Major League Volleyball. Oh, oh, good isolation. Somebody got faked out really badly there, Kathy. That's the kind of play you wish you hope you don't get a block. And Judy Let's Paloma again, might I be hurt, Judy, Kathy. Oh, it might be. Let's see. She waits and jumps in the middle. Ellen Insler goes to help out, and she ran into her, and I think her uh, hand ran into Ellen's shoulder. Yeah, Paloma looks like she took a pop on the right shoulder. shoulder. She's holding her right shoulder. She's there tough, she though. She's learned from her coach in Santa Barbara. Won't stop her. Oh, she'd probably go out with a hangman now. <laughs> Ball passed into the net, so New York, and they're primarily doing it, Kathy, with um, their serving. Yes, New York is that's a very smart. Is she well, hurt, she's Kathy? She's a little hurt, but she's tough. She'll shake it off. She'll play. She wouldn't come out. They'd have to carry her out of the game. <laughs> Great pass. Lawanson blocked again. So New York has been doing a pretty nice job of blocking the big star, Ruth Lawanson. Give credit to Brazil. And the serving really has turned the game. Minnesota's a very good passing team, but they're having a little bit of trouble right now. Game one, the score is tied at 12. League volleyball match in your area or obtaining information about owning your own Major League Volleyball team, please contact the Commissioner's Office. Major League Volleyball, 333 Twin Dolphin Drive, Suite 600, Redwood City, California, 94065. They've been moving those matches around the country. They've had one in Anchorage and one in Elizabeth City, New Jersey, one down in Gainesville, and they've all drawn really, really well, over 2,000 fans. Showing the popularity of women's volleyball. Lawanson off Brazil. That's a good matchup. Two all-stars going at each other. Lawanson against Brazil. Right, and at 12-12, we knew the ball was going to go to Ruth, but then again, she just uses her power and hits by Joella. Conley in. Good pass by Vance. Handling it easily. Halstead with the save. And they go to Balomo, and she's stuffed by Smith. So Laura Smith, picking and choosing her spots, stuffs it down. Talk about two enthusiastic players. How about Laura Smith and Judy Belomo? It'll be a great scream off. Take them <laughs> to a dance the and no one else get on the dance floor. It's true. Wait, a little tight on the sets. And New York with the roll. They can't get that ball up. Again, a nice move by Ruth. A little bit of a tight set, and she used her athletic ability to tip that ball. This is really where the volleyball is won, Krista. Tight action, 12-12. You can't make mistakes at this point in the game. Playing a 15, you must win by two. New York is in blue, Minnesota in white. Outside. On ball, I think there was a touch, yes, and on ball is working Hensler over on that outside, Kathy. Yeah, smart move to set to her every time, but New York is running their offense, and really, they're very steady at this point. Wendy Stevenson, four-year starter at the University of Flores. Out of the back row, Watson. Little rainbow out of bounds. The, the passing is just deteriorated right now for Minnesota. They can't get a pass near the net, and it's really putting a lot of pressure. They know the ball can go to Ruth, but she can't side out on a bad pass. That's asking a little bit too much. 
Mary Jo Peckler will talk it over with her team so far. Her team leading by one. She's probably letting them know right now that they'll probably set Ruth and maybe let's take a gamble and put a two-man block up on Ruth. Let's definitely try to keep the serving tough because right now Minnesota's confidence is a little down. Walt's probably just saying a little more aggressive on the passing. Step in, you're going to make that pass, fall through a little bit more and get that pass a little closer to the net. Walt Weaver in his first year from Apple Valley High School where he won the state championship in 1985 is an English teacher. But occasionally when he gets mad, he has to bring out the slang book, doesn't he? 13 to 12. New York with a surprising lead. Game one. Oh, yes. Pepler with the long dink, the rainbow. Nice shot. The problem is when the pass isn't too good, Ellen is setting Ruth a little bit too tight, so she's got to make a good set off a bad pass. Point game for New York. Minnesota has gone dry. Chisholm is dug. Chance for the game. Not yet. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yes. Anba kills it. So the New York Liberties down all throughout game one. They struggle and fight back, Kathy Gregory. With some good serving, and we saw Lyra Vance make a great saving dig, and that really helped turn that game around. New York wins game one, 15 to 12. We'll continue our coverage of Major League Volleyball in just a minute. Has been all New York, New York. New York, the New York Liberties leading the Minnesota Monarchs two games to none, an upset in the making here at Augsburg College. I just wonder if the heat's affecting them. You know, usually we come up to Minnesota, it's so cold, it's really hot, about 70-something degrees, but I'm just surprised they can't seem to get into the flow of this match. Well, New York is not exactly I, tropical at this time of the year, is it? I don't know, but maybe they have something to prove in Minnesota. Maybe Minnesota beating this team three times was a little relaxed coming in. It was a beautiful day up here in Minnesota, 65 degrees. The sun was out, the birds were singing. Kathy Gregory sunbathing outside, <laughs> what a sight. One to one. Oh, good dig by Pepler. And Vance kills it. And that's how it's been going for New York. What a play. And they don't even go to the one, two, three. They go to the one, two now. When everything's going well, she just says, I'm not going to set that ball. And she takes a swing. You don't have to hit she's it three in the times. She's in the unconscious stage, we call this right now. And she you, can do no wrong. And you love that. You get that feeling, oh, Kathy. You, you love it. Put that ball down at any time from anywhere. Chisholm is blocked. Chisholm, Spikes is blocked with the pokey pokey. And Hensler is dug. And the ball goes down. So New York scrambling all over the place. A lot of unusual looking slides and dives, Kat. A lot of defense on the play. We'll see again a lot of plays. Ball is set to the outside. Good form block. Laura Smith moving very well. Then she decides to jam the ball. They make a nice dig. They have to convert on this. But again, Sandy Oliver makes a nice dig. The ball just going back and forth. And New York with a tip that gets the ground. Usually Minnesota makes those defensive plays. Not tonight. Three to one New York. And a little dink shot, but New York was into the net. That would have been a free ball. Bob Trammell, our first referee, making the call. The middle sets look a little low for the middle hitters. I think she's going to have to. A little low. <laughs> they're going to have to get the sets. Ellen a little bit higher, and she's got to take charge. Right now, she's a setter. She's got to run the show a little bit better tonight. If you're a young volleyball fan and you see the spiker poking it upwards, <laughs> that means it's very low. Halston unloads the hammer. There's the kind of hit that'll get the crowd going. She hit that ball right through the seam with some power. Get some emotion going for Minnesota, and they can turn this around. We'll see. Ball is dug up. Ellen Hensler again. Her best set is outside, as we see, and she gets a nice hang time and really powers that ball through the ball. Minnesota fans jammed in here, capacity crowd, and they're just anxious for something to cheer about. They cheer a dink that goes down, and that ball is an ace. So Watson. Fans don't believe yet. They're not really clapping, I know, though, you they're, know, they're, they're just about ready to start. Hard to believe Leilani Overstreet told me, uh, her Fresno coach, that she couldn't serve when she first came to Fresno. Well, I guess she's learned how to serve now. And DHL will be presenting that award at the end of the year, a big cash prize plus a beautiful trophy you may have seen a couple of weeks ago. Down the line, Brazel turns it out of bounds. And a point. So Lewanson scores three in a row off her serve. And Balomo trying to talk it up. She is a chatty one from Santa Barbara. Kathy taught her. You taught her well, Kathy. 
Serve is too long. And New York will get it. The New York Liberty's third place, trying to move up. They get pulled it within one game of Minnesota. Minnesota at 10 and 6. And New York at 8 and 6, right behind. San Jose, if you're wondering, is right behind New York at 7 and 7. And under the net goes Laura Smith. And the ball goes to Minnesota. Jill Halstead having a very good night, 12 kills, but again, exclusively.